pulled this uh, bowl together a few weeks back. Uh, I was really actually just trying my uh, vacuum chamber just to see whether I can actually get it to uh, do what I wanted it to do because it never seems to quite work. Uh, yeah, and this, this thing came out of it, so I thought, well, I'll see if I can cut it back. Um, I'm see if I can make some sort of like little colourful bowl out of it. So I'm going to cut it back, stick a little uh, tenon mortise joint in there, um, and then I'm going to flip it over and we're going to cut the front end. <laughs> gloves when you're doing turning but I tend to find that when you're doing work like this these chip off and they don't laugh at it so
sure if you can see, but there's quite a lot of chip out uh, occurred here. Uh, I'm not really sure I'm going to be able to do about it, but I think I'm just going to curve this edge a little bit. some milliput but I'm going to use colour. I don't know what colour yet, possibly yellow. Uh, I think yellow could look quite nice but just some sort of colour there uh, in that gap. Uh, just because I like doing that. Just because I'm in colour, so I'm going to mix more than I think I need. My theory behind that is if you're trying to mix colour, um, you want to get kind of like one shot at mixing it, and if you add some more, you'll never quite get it the same colour.
has dried up quite nicely now. Very annoying that. I've got a few ed around the edges as well. I seem to get those a lot. I don't know why. Um, it's often where wood meets the resin. I mean, they're ultimately they're just bubbles. I just don't know why I'm not able to get them out. Uh, although I must admit, this was done before the pressure pots. This was done a couple of vacuum changer uh, chamber experiments. So I can understand why it's not perfect. And I said, oh. It's annoying, but I'm not going to get beat myself up too badly about it. Um.
Jim, would you look at that? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's quite a lot of imperfections, certainly on the inner ring. You know, things like those bubbles that are in chips that I couldn't really work my way out. Uh, a little bit annoying, but I think they add a little bit of character to it. I really, I actually quite like this. Um, you might not be able to make it out, but um, when you were like mixing the blue and the um, the blue into the white it just didn't quite mix properly so you've actually got almost like a marbled effect from it it's basically a it was a piece of throwaway resin really um, with a bit of chopped up wood in it I mean that's all it is is a little bit of a uh, spare wood that I have hanging around little you know tiny little loft cuts please with that okay not perfect learning all the time every single time I do a project I learn a little bit more yeah not bad